After the overthrow of the Hawaiian Kingdom, many palace treasures were lost. Ilani Palace recently, though, welcomed home more than 100 items from a private donor. Kamakapili with more. This is a really, really exciting story. Now, we're here in the attic of Iolani Palace. I've never been here before, but this is really where all the collections are. And in recent months and even weeks, a lot of new items have been returned here to Iolani Palace. So we're here speaking with the curator, Teresa. Thank you very much for having us. We have some of these items laid out. First of all, what are these items and how were they found and brought back to this extravagant house? So the Thompson family, who are descendants of Anton Rosa, who was Attorney General to King Kalakaua and served on the Privy Council for King Kalakaua and Queen Lili Uokalani, after one of their family members had passed away, Helen Ladd Thompson, they wanted to see these objects come home to Iolani Palace. So we were very honored to have over 100 objects come home and one single donation. Now, looking at some of the pieces, we're going through some. We have some royal orders. We have the, uh, the portrait of Anton Rosa himself, which I thought was Kalakaua. So it's good to know the difference. <laughs> but we also have a letter written by Queen Lili Uokalani. Tell us a little bit about this letter. Yes, yeah, so this letter was written in Washington, D.C. in 1899. So we're talking post um, overthrow of the Hawaiian Kingdom, post annexation. And it's a very poignant, very moving letter. It's written on morning stationery. And in the letter, she writes, not much news from home, but there are strangers flocking into Honolulu from all parts of the world. And strangers seem to look at the Kama Aina as much to say, who are you? I fear we will feel like strangers in our own land. <laughs> got chicken skin when you first said that to me. I got chicken skin again. You were talking about morning um, letters. Is, are you talking about that black border around this? Yes, yeah. So it was custom at the time that when you were in mourning for someone that had passed, that you would actually use this type of stationery with a black border around it. So Lili Uokalani is in mourning for Princess Kekiolani at this time. My goodness. Okay, so this was, you know, there's so much things outside of Hawaii that may still belong to the palace. If people find things or have feelings or just getting things back. How does that happen? How do you guys find things and get them back to the palace? Yes, so we encourage folks to reach out to us. Um, Iolanipalace.org is our website. You can reach out to me, the curator. And if you feel that you have an object that needs to return home here to the palace, we just ask that you please send us photographs, information to share, and we would happily welcome you. Thank you very much, Teresa. Again, a great Thing to see, but also come down and see these things for yourself. So come down to Iolani Palace, but also check out their website, iolanipalace.org. And again, like Teresa said, if you have a feeling of something that may belong to the palace and you want to see if it should be back here, contact them directly. Kamakapiti with K2 News, working for Hawaii.